In this section, I will explain the role of asset professional asset managers in selecting a portfolio. So most of the people, when we see that, whenever the people have to decide that how they are going to form the portfolio in which they have to invest, so what would be the combination of the risky and the riskless assets, they have little information about the dynamics that are involved. So what they do is, in order to be safe or in order to avoid uh, different types of risks, they consult the professional asset managers to help them with the uh, with the development of the portfolios. So for that purpose, uh, the investment managers are to be hired because they are experts. They are they have the relevant information and they can guide the investors in a better way with the with the with the because they have an access to the data and the resources and, and the um, understanding also on the basis of which they can advise the investors about the best possible portfolios or the different options they can go for, the investors can go for. So what they do is they prepare the finished products and then they offer those finished products to the investors. So when we say uh, finished products, by finished products I mean or we mean that these are the various investment accounts uh, that are combination of mutual funds or it could be like a combination of the bank deposits and the securities or different investment companies and insurance companies come up with different types of finished products. So those finished products are developed by the experts or the professional asset managers by looking at the various dynamics that are involved. So financial inter it, it is basically the job of the financial experts that are hired by financial institutions and they are given this task that you, based upon the available information, the historical data and whatever uh, uh, different types of tools they know uh, by utilizing those that information and the tools, they come up with different types of products that are that can be offered to the investors and because every investor is different from the other uh, and there could be a number of factors also that help the investors or that determine the investors to go for different combinations so it is not just one type of product that is that is available for all types of investors so financial institutions develop with the help of the professional asset managers they develop different types of products for different types of customers or different types of investors. So uh, they go for the, uh, they make the different, they make the choices available to the households um, who have, who want to invest their savings in these different types of assets or asset classes or portfolios. Uh, the selection is primarily done based upon the quantitative uh, trade-off between the risk and the return. So there, there could be a number of factors that are uh, considered when we have to choose the portfolio or when we decide the portfolio. But above all, there are two basic concepts that are considered while developing a portfolio and that is the trade-off between the risk and the expected return. So the objective of a professional asset manager is to find out that those portfolios that offer a certain category of investors the highest expected rate of return for any level of risk or any degree of risk they are willing to tolerate and we discussed it earlier that different types of people have different levels of risk tolerance so uh, basically what we are what i am trying to say is ke mukhtalif jo investors hote hain wo apni umar ki buniyad pe ya unka jo family ka setup hai या उनका सपोर्ट सिस्टम क्या है इसकी बिना के ऊपर वो डिफरेंट लेवल्स की रिस्क फाइनेंशियल रिस्क टॉलरेंस के लेवल्स को शो करते हैं रिस्क टॉलरेंस का मतलब ये है कि वो कितना नुकसान बर्दाश्त करने के मुतहमिल हैं कम या ज़्यादा सो so उसके लिए हमने तीन कैटेगरीज डिफाइन की थी सो टू गैदर दी डिफरेंट फाइनेंशियल रिस्क टॉलरेंस लेवल के ऊपर मैक्सिमम एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न क्या मिलेगा किसी भी पोर्टफोलियो से ये पर्टिकुलर पोर्टफोलियोज को डेवलप करना इज द बेसिक जॉब और द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोफेशनल एसेट मैनेजर